Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Anatomy. This is a $3 horror game available on Itch.io by a developer named Kitty Horror Show that a lot of people recently have kind of name dropped in recommendations, so I figured I would check them out. They make uh, experimental psychological horror games from the looks of things, and they seem to be pretty unique, so I'll link their page in the description, this particular game was $3, but a lot of their work is free. So if you end up digging this game, uh, you'll probably be able to check out a lot of their other games without paying anything. They do have a Patreon, though, which I think is a, a smart move as an indie developer these days. That said, not really sure what to expect. Really just kind of dove right in. I just looked at the screenshots on uh, the page, and that's about it. All these doors are locked. It's the curse of every horror game, it seems. Just every door cannot be opened for some reason or another. Okay. This part over here is red. Oh, a cassette. Let's play it. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship, buildings for socializing, buildings for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. Hmm. <laughs> there is a tape in the dining room. Huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll get right over there. Where's the dining room? Is it where I just was? Is this the dining room? This is like the living room, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like it. The dining room? Ooh, new area unlocked. Hello there. Okay. Ooh, yes, it links right through. Thank you. Play this one now. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself, nor regards such shelters with such reverence and import. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. <laughs> there's a tape in the downstairs bathroom. Of course there's a downstairs bathroom. Of course there is. Oof. Oof. Oh, I thought you meant like even more downstairs than we already are. All right, well, no. Oh. Uh, hello there. <laughs> I can see my own flashlight, good. Let's play this, see what else he has to say about the house. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Stop telling me where the tapes are. There's something creepy about that. To the garage! I have to sneeze. Wait. Maybe I don't. Do I? I don't. Ah, I hate it when that happens. I totally have to sneeze. Oh wait, it went away. Uh... Alright then. Oh, hang on a second, I want to look around a little bit. Interesting that this is, um... This has like a VHS style overlay. Like we're watching found footage or something like that. All right, gonna see, gonna see what they have to say next. 
For example, let us examine the living room. Out in the dominant space of a house as ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home, the living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. Let me, I was about to say, let me guess, I go to the living room next. Okay. Hmm. Wonder what his point is in all this. Okay, I get it. You know, our houses are like our bodies. Gotcha. And? <laughs> I guess we'll see what he has to say next. It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. Stop it, man. Stop it. There's a tape on the stairs. Ugh. Talking about a living house makes me think of, like, Amityville Horror or something like that. All right, where is it? It's right here. We haven't even been up the stairs yet. That's okay. Maybe we don't need to go up there just yet. Hmm. Hmm. All right. What's next? The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it was conscious. Of course there is. Alright, let's do this. Mm, I guess that's not the bedroom. Kinda on edge, not gonna lie. I think uh, limited vision has something to do with it, for sure. Thanks. Time for the long journey back to the tape player. You'll excuse me, I'm on a mission. Play the tape. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Don't make me go. You're gonna make me go. You're gonna make me go, aren't you? Of course there's a tape in the basement. Of course there is. Of course there is. Yeah, let's just let's just head on down there. Great. Now nah, I can't wait. I'm chomping at the bit to go down to the basement. Thanks. 
After that wonderful description, where's the tape? Where's the tape? <laughs> I want to get the tape and I want to leave. That's what I want to do. <laughs> oh no, where's the tape? I don't see it. I don't see the tape. Freaking, this is a huge basement. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, no, come on. Getting the fuck out of here. I sprinted for the first time in this game. Close the door. Bye. Ooh. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one. And often the basement is little more than a storage space littered with the corpses of spiders and whip lice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams, which is actually the most frightening of all. Oh, there's a master bedroom. Let's see. I was wondering what all those other rooms were. Makes sense that they would be bedrooms. Alright, we're gonna go up there and check it out. Master bed. Oh! Jackpot. Good. Red walls. Awesome. Man, this guy needs to stop hyping up these rooms. Like, actually, the next place you're gonna go is the most scary. Actually, that place that you just went, it's not that bad. Actually, the next place is gonna be even better. Uh, what? Well, I, I thought I heard something. Mm. Excuse me? Haha! <laughs> <laughs> like I'm gonna play it in that one. The door is gone. Where's the door? The door is gone. There's no door. Well... That's not fair, man. You're cheating. Alright, here we go. It is here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Each night, we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time, trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us, watch us, keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouth. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. Right. The game closed. Okay. The game just closed. Huh. Load it up again. It was different that time, though. It was different. Oh yeah, it's different. Something's amiss. Okay. Let's see if that tape player is still here. human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since this early of the Neolithic era, humankind has defined the era of the world. 
of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. Excuse me? Okay. Dining room. Time to play the tapes, I guess. It is acting glitchy, though. to my safe place, i.e. the kitchen. Not all the doors are unlocked. What? That door's not unlocked. Why are you telling me the doors are unlocked? Okay, we know this one is, right? Right, right, right. We mean the doors are unlocked. Okay. I'm really not liking so far that all the doors can be opened except the basement. Okay, this one can be open. We never opened this one, though. This one's new. This one is new. Excuse me? That's on purpose. That has to be on purpose. That can't be. Just a, a glitch. Um... No tape in here or anything. The ceiling is really high, man. Did we go in here before? Right, yeah, there's... What? Okay, good. We'll get that tape later. There's another... I don't think we went to this one. Hey, friends. Um... Okay, good. Good, that was great. Glad that that happened. Uh, ah, stop it! Stop, what are you doing? Ah! Okay. Now there was a tape in here. I wonder if we pick it up. Cause I'm not, I'm not really sure like what else to do. And it said all the doors were unlocked, but the basement is the only one that's locked. And we can't go outside. Can we play in this one? No. No, it's not that kind of tape player. We'll just carry this one around for a while then. Maybe we can go to the master bedroom. I, don't, I didn't see a tape in there, so... Uh, freaking... Wait, the master bedroom doesn't have the tape player anymore. Uh... 
What? No. 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 What? Fine. Fine. I didn't want to go in there anyway. I'll go back downstairs and play this one. Excuse me. Good. Good. <laughs> it was like glitching out. Uh. Fuck! I didn't even think about going in here. I don't want to go in there. The door's gonna close behind me. Then I'll be trapped. I don't want to be trapped. I like my movement and freedom. It is easier to visit the protection and dining room with the stomach or digestive system of house that is combined for its tenures. By contrast, the function and analyze of the bathroom should be immediately obvious. The high rows and corridors of the house are vain. Providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of the house serve much the same purpose as eyes, while anyone who has ever rounded a bend on a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a pale dark manner will tell you that the house is a creature capable of What did you hear what it did at the end? It started getting crazy when he when he said the house is a creature. No. How about no? How about no? Wait, are you gonna tell me where the next tape is? Aren't you gonna tell me? Come on. Is it in the is it in the garage? I haven't been in here yet, so there was a tape here. There's not anymore. Okay. Eh, hey, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I think I can probably leave now. Wondering what to do. Can we go out the front door? That'd be nice. Nope. Of course not. Why would we be able to do that? Is the basement open? I feel like I've gotten a tape in like every room so far. No freaking. Sorry, it's probably annoying some of you guys that I keep doing that. Okay, I need to find another tape. Where have I not looked so far? The master bedroom. Like, I've looked in the garage but there's nothing there. Ow! What are you? What is? Great. Great. Okay. Okay. Here it goes. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison and reflection. At a stretch and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, do, 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 do. I dream that there are teeth growing all over me, everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone spurs. They're loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches and enters through the front door. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of corners. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. He begins urinating on the wall. He spits on the carpet. He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. 
I can go into the freaking basement guys I don't want I don't want to do it 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 no god gotta open it up again it crashed made with unity <laughs> Great, 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 perfect. Let me out. Am I in the bedroom again? Aww. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, perfect. A, a nice mural there. Go downstairs, aren't you? Fine. Here I go. That sound is getting louder. That's that's a mouth. I can't go in there. Are you sure? Are you sure? I don't know what to do here, guys. A lot of these doors don't open. I mean, I'm, I guess I'll look for other tapes. I just... I don't see any other ones. The only other thing of note is in here, and it's this thing. Which, it appears I can touch, no problem.
Is it just gonna keep doing that? Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry it took me so long to find that. And I guess I'm supposed to go to the next one, right? Yep. So you just gotta go, uh, continue with the same order. Makes sense. Perfect. Not in the living room. Could be bedroom. Good. Not yet. All right, um, check the living room. Yeah, there is one. Excuse me. Perfect. crashed again. Guys, what have I gotten into? Damn.
with Unity! Ah, happy times. Where am I? Am I in the basement? There's a tape player right there. Can I pick it up? I I hit escape. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm back in. Um. It doesn't appear that I can do anything. Yeah, the keys don't do anything. Mouse doesn't do anything. Are we just? to a house when it is left alone, when it becomes worn and aged, when its paint peels, and its foundations begin to sink, when it goes for too long and lived in, what does it think of, what does it dream? How does it regard those creatures who built it? Died into existence only to abandon it, when its usefulness no longer satisfies them. It may grow lonesome. It may stare for long hours into the darkness of its own empty halls and see shadows. And its light may jump as it thinks, here, here is someone again, I'm not alone. And each time it is wrong. And the hurt starts over. It may haunt itself, inventing ghosts to walk its floors, making friends with its shadow puppets, laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul de sac. It may grow angry. Basement may fill with churning acid like an empty stomach, and its gorge may rise as it asks itself through clenched teeth, what did I do wrong? It may grow bitter. It may grow hungry. So hungry and so bitter that its scruples dissolve and its doors unlock themselves. While a house may hunger, it cannot starve. And so, in fever and anger and loneliness, it may simply lie in wait. Doors open. Shades drawn. Hallways empty. Hungry. What's going to happen? Can I move? I think this might be the end of the game. Okay, uh... Assuming this is the end. Assuming this is the end, um... Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Ah, uh, that was great. That was great. <laughs> um... That was really good. Yeah, very, very impressed. Wow. Um... <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, it's psychological horror, man. Uh... Just the idea of something, you know, of a, of a living house that eats people. It was done very well, too, you know. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it was, it was very good. Definitely interested in checking out uh, more of this developer's work. Uh, once again, link is in the description to their page where you can uh, play all of their games. Um, this one, like I said, was $3, but a lot of the other ones are free. Uh, there's another one that costs money. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing more of these games on the channel, let me know. But uh, most of them are free, so you can just play them yourself. Something important to note is that they are available, at least this one was, so I assume all of them are, are uh, it was available on Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is something I don't see very often, so pretty cool. Um, definitely, uh, definitely a developer to keep an eye on. Uh, I'll be following for future works, for sure. I'll definitely be, be checking out some of the other games. Maybe some of my own time, uh, depending on what the feedback to this video is. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. I thought it was great. Um, I thought it was done really well. At first I wasn't so sure, you know, when we were, when we were just look, listening to the recording, talking about, you know, how different parts of the house are like different parts of the human body, but then it kind of, it kind of started coming together about uh, 10 minutes in. It's not, you know, when I said I wasn't so sure, it's not like I was writing it off or anything or, you know, anything like that, but I, I just wasn't sure how things were going to play out is all. I was just a little bit, a little bit skeptical, but uh, it turned out really great and, um, Lots of interesting stuff here, for sure. Alright guys, well, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please remember to like it, and uh, if you enjoyed the game, check more uh, from this developer. I'll see you guys later. Think critical.